Smoke coming out of that metal thicket. getting close to rut here and so we're going up I'm just going to basically go out to the northwest Oklahoma lease and just kind of gauge the ranch see uh, what's going on I mean it could break any time hopefully the deer move and check some cams get them coverts out and just see what we got and go from there that's all we can do Guys, I shoot a single pin sight. And I get asked a question all the time, like, well, how do you move it? Da -da -da, if something happens fast. And here's the deal that I don't do. I got it set on 25. I just shot at 25 yards. I'm not going to move it. Now, if it's past 40, I move it. But right here, I'm going to shoot 25 yards and I'm going to hold right where I think and see what happens. got back from Ohio, successful trip there, but now we're back in Northwest Oklahoma, um, November 14th, the morning here, fixing to go see if we can't catch up with Tebow. Road where there's wheat and barley up there. Wind's 
it's going to stay north until about 3 or 4 o'clock. We're going to stay till then. We need a north wind. We ain't but 100 yards off the road. Little Bob just crossed the road. You can't see him now. Just getting around this morning. Pretty excited. This is the first big cold front that's hitting here. So I'm excited about that. Maybe get T-Bone, one of these good bucks on her feet, but it's a grind for sure. Um, one thing though I am excited about, my dad is coming in this evening. Uh, he's gonna crossbow hunt a little bit right here before rifle season, and then we're gonna get to rifle hunt together in Oklahoma here, which is a tradition. So definitely looking forward to that. Is cruising, right moving around cold. That's that big white sucker. Oh, dude, that's a big deer. Dude, that's a good deer. Coming. Dude, that deer looks five. It's not the deer we come in here after, but that's a really good looking deer. He's got a big old knife sticking out of his head. Back in my heater body suit. I haven't called pretty much all morning just to that buck I saw. And the reason why I'm on one deer, I don't know the personality to hit him really well. I've called to him one time and he didn't like it. Number two, so I don't know if he's got a, a doe, and if I call and he's got a doe, they're gonna go the opposite direction. The buck I'm after was here three days ago. As far as the camera goes, he still could be in this area. I'm really feeling like he's got a doe. Yeah, we're hunting out of a blind this evening. Uh, the know what the wind's been blowing hard all day, but I set this blind a couple of weeks ago, and uh, there was deer all around this blind, hoping them bucks might be around here. He's coming, he's coming right in. 
I see him go down over here. He's down up here. Good night. Look at the neck on that guy. Look at him. He is a brute. He's an old deer, older deer. He's probably six, six, maybe even older. Good mature buck. It's a good eight point buck up here at Northwest Oklahoma. Yeah, Jeff said there's a brute in here, Bob Tail, and we got him. <laughs> Bunch of us in camp just having a good time. That just tops it off here. What do you say? What's going on? We're here. Man. Or what he say, old Bob Till is down. <laughs> Just got back out in the field. We're out here looking for a five-year-old to score about 180. Never laid eyes on his deer. I got pictures of him in two places. Basically, I believe he's living back here and heading up here for that week. Now, really, what I think now, I think he's locked down. right here. He just, he just jumped the fence coming right at us. Big frame you plug. That eight point by four year old. Well, if this was a good buck, we could kill him. We did see a good buck today, broke up. We are going to, um, I'm just gonna dig in here. We're gonna dig into this ranch. We still haven't seen our shooters. Gonna dig in for the next seven, eight, nine, ten days, whatever it takes. back this way there's bedding all back to the north there's bedding all back here to the east and and basically I played this with a north wind this set is just literally 50 to 70 yards from a main dirt road as long as we got that north wind north northwest north northeast it gets across that road so it almost makes this set a bulletproof set we park up the road we, you know, obviously we're not gonna just park right there on the dirt road, but we're parking up the road about a quarter to a half mile, walking down the dirt road, and then we're coming back, easing into this set. Now there's a couple other bucks in here. There's an eight-year-old, 140-inch deer that I would, uh, wouldn't mind shooting. And then there's a, uh, there's probably a 145, 150-inch wide, uh, big nine point with a knife sticking out of his head. Uh, I'd be glad to shoot him too. So we had an encounter with him the other day before rifle season. And I called him in, he combined us, and then went out this way, and I never got a shot at him.
So this tree is just set up for history and it all just starts with a simple technique. There's the food, where's the trails, where they're bedding, and then sneaking in and being quiet. And that really is, is what this tree's all about. Right here by this cedar. This set is in a little tree. You know, we don't have a lot of trees up here anyway, and this tree right here happens to be in a great spot. So what we did is we cut a, a couple truckloads of cedar trees, and we took up in that tree, and we used rope and zip ties to tie those cedars in and, and give us good cover. Literally, I didn't even see this deer till he was halfway from that salt cedar to this tree. He comes up right here, and he just, you could tell he just got up, and he was right here, he stood. The closer in the evening that you can get to those bedding areas on those big trails, the better off you are. Obviously, I put myself in between bed and food, but I was very close to the bedroom, and that's what made the hunt successful. Look at the frame on this sucker. My gosh. He's got a broken eye guard, but other than that, let me tell you something. That is a stud right there. Look at that knife. That's what we called him, knife. That's a 150 inch eight point, boys. I wanna thank the good Lord. That's a, y'all might get tired of me saying that, but it's the truth. I can't do any of this without him. And I just, hunting this, he teaches me so much through hunting. I'm tickled to death. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, guys, this week in Northwest Oklahoma, unbelievable time up here with my dad. I always cherish those times. Secondly, man, we struggled. There was some hunts in here. I mean, just over and over, it's like banging your, your, your head on the glass. You know what I've learned though? 1 Corinthians 10 31 says, therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. And you know what, if I do that and I take that concept, it makes me smile no matter what, to work as I work unto the Lord. You know what, whatever you're going through, you do the same. Take that verse right there, apply it to your lives, and it will change your life. Remember, as we always say, shoot by sight, walk by faith.